everyone welcome back to another vlog and my first vlog back in the u.s i've actually been back home for five days now i've just taken my time like getting back into the swing of things getting back into work getting back into my sleep schedule the reason i talk about sleep in vlogs and i guess i've never really touched on it that much but i mean i'm pretty sure i have insomnia both of my parents struggle with insomnia and i definitely like in just normal life struggle with insomnia so like or at least being up in the middle of the night i don't know if i've like officially got it or anything um but i struggle sleeping through the night i have no problems falling asleep like ever um i just wake up in the middle of the night and then i usually go back to sleep a few hours later but anyways just adding jet lag to the mix has not um <laughs> not really helped but honestly it's weird because this like coming back over has been harder usually it's the opposite like when we went to japan it was way worse coming home because I heard it's like worse traveling east, I believe, for jet lag. But this, I don't know if it's just because I've like been at home and when we got to the UK, we pretty much just like hit the ground running and we did stuff every single day. So I don't know if like that's why it was easier for me to adjust and like being at home and like sitting there on the couch like, <laughs> Anywho, we're back and I've been editing all day long. I've been in an editing black hole. I like literally just finished. I've been editing so many vlogs and main channel videos from my time in the UK and I can't wait for everyone to see them. And I enjoyed my time so, so much. I miss it already. Alexa and I were literally just texting today like, did we just do that? Do we actually just go to England again? Like, because it feels like a dream. It feels like I woke up from a dream and then like I have all this footage from said dream. But it feels good to be back. And tonight we're actually going on like a little double date with our friends Josh and Noelle. We haven't really like hung out with them in, honestly, I lost like a month of my life. I'm not kidding. We had friends in town from Arizona and then Drew got sick for like a week and then I got sick for like a week and a half. And then we got busy with like a bunch of other stuff and then I went out of the country for like a week and some change so it feels good to just sort of like be back in my everyday routine and we're gonna have like a fun little catch up with our friends and we're gonna like you'll see obviously i'll be vlogging tonight but we're gonna like pop around do some happy hour get some dinner at one of our favorite places that we haven't been to since actually we visited the um kind of most dramatic thing that's happened since we moved here and nobody panic it's all good now but um we did have a mouse or a rat inside of our apartment the other day. It was actually the day after I flew back. So we flew back from England on a Thursday. We got in the evening and I pretty much just like went to sleep. And then Friday morning, Drew was sitting in our room. I was like sitting in bed on the laptop like this. Drew, do you want to come be a part of this story? We've come full circle from our Phoenix apartment. Oh, uh, we have mice now. Drew was, I was standing, in our standing doorway, in our, yeah. and We keep moose food in our closet because Layla would eat it if it was out. And also our air vents are at the bottom of the wall, which I it's never, an old apartment, I've never yeah. seen before. So bottom of the wall is above her baseboard. I was talking to Carrie, she was in bed. I was standing in the doorway. And your I face went white. Out of the corner of my eye, this side, I wish I um, <laughs> There was a little, I think it was little, but also it was like literally two seconds, if that. And I wasn't Dude, sitting in bed, so I couldn't see it anything. Ran out of our closet because it was eating loose food and jumped into the the bottom air vent. And the air vents in our room, and then the one on the living room, they're very like ornate, spacious. Like, yeah, they almost like wrought iron, like very like wee yeah. tiny type thing. Yeah. So it just jumped in it and was it was off. And so we're sit. I'm sitting there. We're just having a conversation, and all of a sudden he jumps back and he's like. <laughs> and he gasped so loud and then he just puts his hand over his mouth and I'm like, what? What? Like, I, I thought it was a spider because let's be honest, you do bring the drama when yeah, there's a spider. Yeah, like He's a very arachnophobic person. He was going like under his hand and I was like, what are you saying? And then he just like, like he like moved his hand and his hand was shaking and he was like, it was a rat. And I was like, shut the f up. I was like, shut up. And I could tell by his reaction, he was not joking. So. Quite literally, he watched, and then he was like second guessing himself. He was like, I think I saw that. Like, you were like, It was definitely. Yeah, of course. But you know, when like something like that happens, I was just like, Wait, what? How? We were so confused. So, we like, it's all good. Surprisingly, well, actually, I was kind of freaking out. I was like, We have to move. We have well, to move. It, it happened on a Friday. Mm -hmm. It was the morning after I got back. And then 
the, the contract didn't come out until Monday morning. Yeah, so, so we were kind of panicking. So all the vents were closed over the weekend. We were hot. We were hot. But we survived. He came yesterday. He put wire meshing on like every single air vent in this house. He, he put, put like new every, boarding. Every gap you could find wood. What do you call that on like the bottom of the cabinets? What he did? Like he just put new like oh, baseboards or so like. There, so there was a gap underneath the cabinets from like, mm. where the door hit. Okay, yeah. The back of the cabinet. There was a gap, so he filled up all the gaps. Um, Went in every single closet with his flashlight, like filled up he every found, single he found area. Gap in, like where the air duct is comes out from like our upstairs mm -hmm. neighbor. And even where he put like some of the meshing, like most of the meshing, he used this like um, like caulking kind of thing, like so that there was just like literally no way that anything could get in here. So it's nice too because we actually have had a problem with spiders um, since moving into this apartment. That's a whole other thing. There was a spider in our bed. There was a spider on the wall. There was a spider on our curtain. Spider. No, it was like a spider like this big, like in our bed. Like, it was in our bed when we were in our bed. I killed it with our remote. <laughs> and after, then all of a sudden, I was just after, like, after I <laughs> no. quite literally You shit your out. pants. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, story time is over. That's it. Um, hopefully, that's the last of that. It's not abnormal. Um, like, it's a really old apartment, so it's all good. It's not, you know, we haven't, like... It's not like our other place where we could hear it in the ceiling 24-7 and I could feel them under the bathtub and I don't, I think it was a mouse because Drew was like describing it, it happened so fast and I feel like you would know if it was a like a giant rat, you know, he said it was like really tiny. So anyway, oh, it like, and I asked him, I go, was it cute? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> Long story short, we're all good. Everything's fine. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. We survived and now back to the regularly scheduled content, but that was quite the warm welcome back into my home. I like honestly feel fine about it now. It's all good, but yikes. So anyways, I actually am giving my little lashes a break from the lashes that I was using when I was in the UK. I was still using the like Flutter Habit. They may sponsor me at this point, but these like DIY lash extensions, um, but I'm just like giving my lashes a little break. And I've been using the lash serum, so I'm like waiting for it to kick in. Hopefully it'll be soon. I think I'm gonna do like a brown eyeliner tonight. That sounds fun. Actually, this is like way too long of a clip already, so I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we will reconvene i'm gonna like get dressed and get ready to head out the door and have a fun little double date night i'm so excited all right we have gotten ourselves mostly ready i really do think that's not i'm not farting that's the floor creaking <laughs> in case you were wondering i really do think that lash serum is starting to work or at least just that my lashes are like finally recovering from when i took off my eyelash extensions so i'm actually like kind of pleased they look pretty good so what I think I'm gonna wear tonight, I have a couple different options. I thrifted a really, really cute dress when I was in the UK. It's this brown dress. It's got polka dots. If you watched my thrifting in England video, you probably saw this and it's really, really cute, but I would have to wear boob tape to like stick it up to the top. But I was thinking this with like some cowboy boots might be really cute or I also recently thrifted, ignore that. Okay, we're just not gonna talk about it. I also recently thrifted this vintage Gap denim dress and I thought with like a little white tee underneath and maybe some cowboy boots or some loafers that would be also very adorable and a hundred percent I saw this outfit in Spo on TikTok. I don't know why I'm just like really feeling the denim because it's like it's kind of fallish but it's not. I actually brought this with me to England and then I just never got around to it and I was like I'll just wear it when I'm back in LA so okay let's try this on. We'll play around with it. Oh my god it's so cute. Okay that is very cute. Hold on. We're gonna ignore this First of all, this room is always a mess, but this was me like trying to purge some of this. This is all gonna go like in storage. Oh, see, that's what I'm nervous about. I'm worried about these snaps coming undone. Like if I sit down here with the I mean, boots. You have shorts on underneath it. True, true. So that's why somebody got rid of this dress. It is very cute though. Like this outfit, pretty cute. But also this is another option. The green. It's brown. Back to the drawing board, cause this is like, I, it's, hold please. Okay, this is really super cute and I could probably get away without wearing the boob tape, but I do think I'm just gonna do like two small pieces. This had good reviews on Amazon and I purchased it to have for emergencies for this very reason. Oh, is it like two pieces? Wait, okay. Sure. All right, that worked pretty well, actually. I'm gonna do some Glossier U 
perfume. This shit smells so good. I think I first saw my friend Macy using this perfume and then I've seen like a bunch of people recommend it on like Instagram and stuff and it's good. It's like very clean smelling so I like that. I just put on some gloss. This is like a Fenty gloss and then I have a brown eyeliner on. I'm just trying something a little different. I'm gonna put on the cowboy boots or the loafers. I'm gonna go cowboy boots. I'm with my Tennessee friends, you know, they'll appreciate it. I am actually quite shocked that I managed to get ready in like a decent amount of time. It took me like 15 minutes. I'm pretty impressed with myself, to be honest. Friends are on their way. We'll probably call an Uber. And that's the look for tonight. How cute. Ooh, what bag do I want to wear? Do I want this one? I'm gonna need to carry my vlog camera, so I think I'm going to just carry the purse that I had when I was in England. So I'll just do this one, because it matches literally everything. Oh, I'm gonna take a last sip of water. I bought this cup, this freaking $40 cup, because everyone was talking about it on Instagram. <laughs> and literally, like, it's kind of like a hydro flask, but it's like in a cup. And honestly, it's kind of great. I won't lie. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're like me and you like your crispy cold water, I would recommend it. It's huge and very heavy because it's very insulated. It's bigger than my hydro flask. But for like keeping at home or even just like taking with me and like keeping in the car and the cup holder, kind of iconic. I've seen a lot of content around this. It's called a Stanley Cup, which is kind of funny because that's the name of like the hockey trophy. But I actually do like it and it is $40 and they're like extremely back ordered. I think I just, I don't remember where I ordered mine. Someone posted it on Instagram stories and so I bought it. I think like Urban Outfitters has them as well as like some Whole Foods, but yeah mini review it's honestly great <laughs> just as good as my hydro flask but like i would prefer it more for like at home and i like that i can just eh, instead of like open the lid type of thing anyway that's been my review <laughs> cheers let's hit the road <laughs> this restaurant which is called James Beach. I think of number one the time that I ate there like freaking 13 years ago but also number two I think about the movie I Love You Man because they go there and it's just such an iconic movie and it makes my heart warm every single time. Okay let's go eat dinner. Starting off with a kale salad, which truly is one of the best kale salads, or just salads in general that I've ever had in my life. There's like Parmesan, I think almonds, avocado, some kind of delicious dressing. It's amazing. Okay, we got some limoncello drops. Noelle got a lambrusco, which we are gonna share. It is a large pour. They did, they did warn you. We got our salad, we have some crispy eggplant, which looks absolutely phenomenal. We also got some crispy provolone, and we haven't even ordered dinner yet. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, I'm pardon my French, but we have a spicy rigatoni. We have a rachatelli, which is like some kind of spicy pork oh situation. God. We have a pizza. What what kind of pizza? I don't know. It's like some kind of like little pepperoni, honey, and chili. Oh, like a honey chili pepperoni pizza. We have some kind of like burrata situation, um, and then also cacio e pepe. Yeah. Is it good? It's like much better than I expected. Ooh. <laughs> This spicy rigatoni is no joke. All right. Oh. 
For dessert, we have a peaches and cream. It's a <laughs> This is where we're at in the dinner conversation. <laughs> I'm not explaining. Anyways, Nutella mousse or something and peaches and cream. We should probably call our Uber soon. Oh, delicious.